Yo, hi all, welcome to this conference. My name is Gaura Wanambi. I am a Marangu man. Uh, I am is, uh, maintaining and strengthening your language, knowledge and practices. First of all, I'd like to acknowledge uh, the Larakia people, the, la the people of this land that we are on, having this conference here. Uh, the leaders from the past, present and emerging. As I said, my name is Gaura Wanambi and with, all, with my colleagues Kathy Bow, Joe Bulkanoi and Yesu Nori from Charles Darwin University and uh, Hannah Harper from Arts Aboriginal Corporation. Uh, your outline is, in this presentation we consider some of the challenges and opportunities of work with Yolngu languages from Northeast Arnhem Land, Australia, of how can we man maintain sovereignty and ownership of our languages, and how do we work with the language practices and knowledge of a small group with only a handful of speakers. These two maps of Australia shows language in Australia. Uh, these two maps of Australia shows of, uh, on the left. On the left side, it shows um, these were the languages that has been in this country before the colonization. And on your left, it shows this is how it is after when we was being colonized, and that's how much is how much language are being sort of kept here in this area now. Yo, uh, this other next slide shows the actual, the actual map of where Marang language are uh, from, from the area right up at the Arnhem, 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 Arnhem Bay, and closely related. Some of the languages are spoken as a first language by many people right across the region. Many languages are only being used by some old people and are only for the ceremonial purposes. In our region, how I, we understand it that the language itself is not, we didn't pick it up from the air as it was on its own. We were being taught that it all goes back to our creation story. Back to our creation story of those creators that landed to this place and created our land and then restored the land with everything. One of them biggest, biggest big, big one was the language itself. They restored language into into the land mm -hmm. and then created us upon the land to live with it, to live with that language, to live by that language, every clan group. There are very differences between languages. Takun, Jambarpungu language is the most common language that are being spoken right across the East Arnhem, Arnhem land. Everyone, every tribe, every clan group has got their own language. Well, I would like to invite uh, my uh, um, colleague, other colleague, Joy Bulkanawe, and I'll, I'll interview her. Marking <laughs> Mari. 
Sa huni na kung gulo to mil malalimurong klaus, na kung ngandi limurong, amari limurong, kamu mo limurong. Kaya pala niya? Ngayon may kayo to yung muni different, different every time nga ma darok mala. Kaya pala niya? We can say that some of our language, some of our language, own language for each clan groups are endangered because of the influencing and because of this and that, this process of getting, getting for a kid to sort of get in that area where and concentrate only on, on her or his language. Uh, things have changed, but we are trying to um, uh, keep it strong so that most of our, all of our languages are not sort of uh, fading away or we're losing languages. That's how it is. I think um, the Marangu language itself, it's a bit very hard comparing it to Jambar Pungo and Kupa Pungo. I myself um, has got it, but I am using my Kutara language. But when I am in a ceremony, a big ceremony, and I'm sort of um, announcing, announcing uh, in the song lines, I do use my own language, the uh, Marangu language frequently. So that's how it is. That's, that's, um, that's one of the, uh, um, training areas or practicing areas where our own kids do sort of practice of getting the our regional language, the Marangu language into to keep it alive but to continue. But most of the time um, um, they we are our kids are speaking Jamarpungu language. Right now, Marangu language, I can't sort of say that it is endangered. There is, there is still a chance there, and there's always a chance, and there's always an opportunity to make it continue for our children to learn the Marangu language because they do experience or hear that in every ceremonies or song lines that they hear, the wordings in the song are being announced in Marango. Yo. Yo, language sovereignty ownership. This is how it is. It shows that um, the language itself is this is where it comes from. It comes from my um, area where we belong to, the land itself that holds the language. We practice, we show, we announce the language itself by showing this, that we are being painted, we are sort of performing a ceremony where a group of people come together, a family group of family, other families from another group of families come together and just to bring that language up from that particular area or the piece of land. The language itself, it, it's not on its own. It comes from the land. That's how it, it has been for us. The Marangu language, it's not only for Marangu language, it goes for every language. Yo, Donya, Manapur Nakun, Yandu Milakram, Minelcher Marangu Dadu, Mada, Anuk Mada Marchinga, Varitun Mada, Katarok Mada, Minanga, and Guru Parmin. I mean, Madagan, Darok, Yamanago, Mada, my Marango, and I dart to a Marangunyako, Nakarit Mu, and I dart to Yaul Marakia, Kuanuk, 
Makin meramai jinni, wang amra ngumpar, kawang amra menya aku mira ngal, ruadik jin min meramai jin bala, punjun min meramai jin, na amra kena ngal, yo tuan jin na we, ka tuan jin na we, bala rali, tuan jin ka tuan jin na we bija amra kena ni bala, mari jin anjo, yo dadu we mera ka marangu. Kadun yang ngai kam mela kam tuan dia ungle nak kun makan nama tuan ini bungkul nang kun ini ya kar mana kun ini mada kan mari cing kun ini anak muda. Kau rupan mana min daruk cemar ma balarali warik tun min ngai marangu kau ngai datui. Ramang yang mada kan mari cing naga wang mada ngai tengal. You're working with a small language group on the Marangu language projects. Yeah, I've been working, collecting um, recordings, materials, recording new materials. I've been working on collecting songs and so stories from the community. As the songs and the stories are shared amongst community members, they will be supplemented with commentaries, ill illustrations, on other dictations and uh, translations, translations into the other Yolong languages where appropriate. This is just um, showing that um, what I've been doing, I've been collecting projects, materials, going, recording, getting some recording, recording um, elderly people, uh, the main senior, senior um, knowledgeable people of the main um, uh, authorities of the language itself. This is just an, uh, another way or a way of opening doors to others to follow Nakun. What we mean by this is this um, footage shows that um, we are inviting there are about how many clan groups that are in there two from two moites getting together and we the regional marango people are sort of those people that are on the clapsticks there announcing the song lines in marango language that is where we are sort of opening doorways for others for example um, our child or our children from the land, from Marangu. What I mean by this is that um, they've got, their mother is Marangu, but they are from the opposite moiety, from any of the two Irija moieties. They are there, they, they are there to sort of look after us and be part of that showing that, that the land itself and that ceremony holds that language, Marangu. And it is uh, another way, or a bigger way of opening a doorway for others to hear what Marangu language is and how Marangu language is being is sounded. Uh, yeah, uh, we got some funding from the First Languages Australia. Uh, the priority language is Marangu, so that we can sort of um, record the language itself and to save the language so that um, a new generation uh, needs to speak the language and to keep it alive so that we are not losing the language and even um, it can be kept recorded so that our um, next generation will um, have the chance of um, getting to know the language itself. Ka, thank you. Ka, mind mak, ka, jujuj.